Special Counsel John Durham testified before the House Judiciary Committee on Wednesday morning. Let's watch some of that. A significant problem. Several of the relevant FISA applications at issue um, in the Crossfire investigation omitted references to what was clearly relevant and highly exculpatory information that should have been disclosed to the FISA court. Multiple FBI personnel who signed or assisted in preparing renewal applications for that same FISA warrant acknowledged that they did not believe that the target, Mr. Page, was a threat to national security, much less a knowing agent of a foreign power, which is what the law requires. It appears from our investigation that the FBI leadership dismissed those concerns. Another aspect of our findings concerned the FBI's failure to sufficiently scrutinize information it received or to apply the same standards to allegations it received about the Clinton and Trump campaigns. As our report details, the FBI was uh, too willing to accept and use politically funded and uncorroborated uh, opposition research such as the Steele dossier. The FBI relied on the dossier and FISA applications knowing that it was uh, likely um, material originating from a political campaign, a political opponent. So in his remarks, Durham harshly criticized FBI leadership and how they handled these matters. But Democratic Representative Steve Cohen uh, accused Durham of tying himself to Trump by raising any of these questions. Let's watch some of that. Your reputation will be damaged. As everybody's reputation who gets involved with Donald Trump is damaged, he's damaged goods. There's no good dealing with him because you will end up on the bottom of a pyre. I yield back the balance of my time. Sure. My, Can we uh, presume the gentleman's undecided on, on how he feels about the pre former president? Uh, gentlemen, witness can respond. Yeah, my uh, concern about my reputation is with uh, the people who I respect, and my family, and my lord. And I'm perfectly comfortable with my reputation with them, sir. So he, Durham infuriated uh, many Democrats by even, even scrutinize, even casting some aspersions on how the FBI handled um, the Trump-Russia investigation. Uh, you know, he's criticizing the FBI for taking the Steele dossier at face value. The, the FISA court authorization for surveillance of aide um, Carter Page looks very baseless and inappropriate, and it, it's clear the FBI should not have done that, did not have enough information to, to authorize that. Look, this is basic civil liberties stuff. These are questions about how top law enforcement agents behaved. And in another planet, Another dimension, I would love to see Democrats who ostensibly care about civil liberties um, applauding the, some scrutiny of law enforcement and the actions it took. Instead, they are, and, and look, he didn't, he didn't go, some Republicans don't think he went far enough because he didn't like personally make a citizen's arrest of Hunter Biden or something. Mm -hmm. they, they don't think he went far enough. But Democrats are losing their minds because he was making mild criticism of how the FBI handled these matters, saying, you're, oh, you're like some Trumpist, you're some MAGA freak. This is, this is so, I mean, this is endlessly mockable and terribly unhealthy for our democracy, for the project of stopping the government from trespassing on our rights. What we've seen is that the Democratic Party's commitment to Russiagate and absolving themselves of any responsibility for losing the election in 2016 and for their political troubles after that has um, completely overwhelmed their capacity to care about any of these foundational, fundamental civil, liberty, civil liberties issues that they once claimed to be core to the beliefs of the Democratic Party project. We've seen what their priorities are, and their priorities are to tarnish uh, Trump and his movement, even when it is not merited, above these what should be the kind of core concerns that would continue to draw people to the Democratic Party, regardless of who's running on the other side. So much so that you know one of the sort of viral clips uh, out of this morning's hearings was Jerry Nadler attempting to uh, embarrass Durham by pointing out that he has only brought three cases to trial and that he's lost all of those cases, which I think Durham kind of handled with aplomb, just answering, yeah, that's true. But what does that have to do about the sum and substance of what I sure. actually have uncovered here or failed to uncover? Sure. Th this is mild criticism of how the FBI handled this investigation. This, this is 
he didn't get over he didn't go over his skis and he didn't give you know the most right-wing Republicans everything they wanted in terms of indicting the entire system for corruption but he pointed out that some of these practices were clearly bad were not founded based on the intelligence they had and and we should be worried again not so much that they did this to Trump but that they could do this to you and, and I mean and Carter Page was not Trump he was an aide who was surveilled for no reason uh, for not for a, a sufficient reason that's something they can do to all of us and we should be so worried about that and Democrats used to be a part during the George Bush years they said they were a party that cared yeah. about that yeah and it's just now but now former law enforcement former FBI agents are there are, are the experts they turn to? Um, I was, a, a former colleague of mine at, at Reason, Radley Balco, um, who does a lot of good work on criminal justice, For the, he was recently at the Washington Post, he tweeted something the, the other day that I thought was so correct, hmm. saying that he hopes that MSNBC, CNN, cable news, when they talk about the Trump boxes, documents case, could they ever invite on someone who's not a prosecutor? Hmm. All of the experts they rely on are prosecutors, mm -hmm. which creates, and, and that was the problem they got into with like the Kyle Rittenhouse story mm -hmm. and other things. They're only hearing from prosecutors mm -hmm. who are assuring the audiences that these cases are airtight mm -hmm. and are speaking from the prosecutor perspective. Mm -hmm. And that's only one side of the story. But, and, and this, this, again, this anathema to where Democrats and liberals were throughout the aughts in terms of civil liberties, but now that's their, that's their group. Their group is 100%. the top law enforcement advisor. And that prosecutor bias is also a huge problem with um, federal judge appointments, et cetera. The criminal justice system is dominated by people in authority who come up through the ranks as prosecutors. It is a known path to politics to work in a prosecutor's office. It's something that you saw people like Kamala Harris do. It's a way to get a lot of trial experience and move up the ranks, and it attracts a certain sort, and then that bias of their experiences there infects our entire um, criminal injustice system, as some people have uh, taken to call it. It's, it's interesting here, uh, with respect to Durham, that everyone seems to be angry with him. Um, I'm noticing uh, some critique from Aaron Maté from a left perspective, who is voicing some concerns that he declined to investigate the DNC hacking claims more closely, and that uh, there was a uh, potentially evidence that the Clinton campaign uh, gave false statements in the course of that uh, escapade. You know, I, 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 I'm interested in some of these critiques, but it also does strike me that maybe the fact that he's made nobody happy is evidence of some degree <laughs> of impartiality means Maybe here. he did a good job. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, again, I haven't scrutinized it to every level of detail, and I, I'm always, so I want to be reluctant to say, oh, you know, heck of a job. Yeah. But uh, he, he, he certainly, I, I think he's at least shown independence. Sure. Um, he did not give either side what, you know, the, the, the most partisans on either side exactly what they wanted. And I, I think, I certainly think there's a lot of true, obviously there's corroborating reporting on how inadequate and false mm -hmm. the Steele dossier was. The FISA warrant process is just a disaster. And again, the ramifications of this should be that different policies should be proposed by Republicans. Now, okay, you're the party of civil liberties now. Democrats have whole, wholesale abandoned this. You're right, they, can, they use these processes to come for your boy. Let's let's end this. Let's end this Patriot Act era surveillance. Please, next time it comes for a vote, vote against it. Mm -hmm. Vote mm -hmm. against it. You won't. Yeah. But well, I'm I'm daring you to vote against Republicans it. Republicans for criminal justice reform, free Please. Kodak Black. <laughs> <laughs> what is this world we live in? We're rising. Coming up next. <laughs>